uh, startup animations for Motorola, Google, and Android Wear. It looks really cool. All right, and the first thing it wants us to do is it wants us to pick a language. Since we're talking in English, let's pick English. And next, uh, it wants us to go to our phone and install the Android Wear app, which is going to be an absolute requirement if you want to experience this phone to its full capacity. So let's uh, launch the app and uh, move on to the next steps to see how we're going to set this thing up. So let's uh, just tap next on the screen, uh, accept the terms, and then what we want to do is we want to turn Bluetooth because the phone and the watch are going to communicate using the Bluetooth protocol. So let's turn on Bluetooth and see what happens next. So let's uh, go back to the app and under choose a device your uh, watch is going to pop up. Simply tap on it to start the pairing process and what's going to happen is you're going to see prompts on both of your devices your watch and your phone asking you to pair. Click pair on your phone and press green on your watch and that should complete the pairing process and your phone will give you a message a notification saying the pairing is complete as you can see on the screen and then click that blue button that says notification settings and what that does is that allows your phone to send notifications to your Android Wear device so make sure that is checked and make sure you're you say yes to that and now you're good to go and here's the Android Wear app now let me take a quick pause here and quickly show you what's in the box and if you didn't know the Moto 360 is charged using wireless technology so in the box you get a wireless charger a charger adapter user guides and some extra links for the watch band in case you want to adjust the size of the band and here is how the wireless charger works you plug it into the wall and simply place the watch on the charger it will then show you the time and a charging percentage meter once the charge is complete simply pick it up and slap it on your wrist and you're good to go alright so back to business uh, by this point we have our phone and watch paired up via Bluetooth let's now see some of the things you can do using the Android Wear app on your smartphone so basically you have to use the Android Wear app to go and download new watch skins so as to customize your smartwatch and to also be able to download other compatible apps so let's uh, go and get some new watch skins and see how you can change it right on your phone so let's uh, scroll down and click on browse suggested apps and that is exactly where we're gonna be shopping for the new watch skins and other apps that are gonna be compatible with your phone so tap that and here's the marketplace for all the skins and apps available for the smartwatch so on the top you have some featured apps we're just gonna skip that and go to Android Wear watch faces okay and then here you have you have a whole slew of uh, watch faces that you can install for free or some of them you have to pay for a couple bucks uh, I did purchase a couple of the uh, the skins here some of them look pretty good and a lot of them are for free and they still look very good so let's um click one of these guys and install it and I'll show you how this whole thing works really quick and it looks like we already have that one so let me go back and pick another one go back to the uh, browse suggested apps Android Wear watch faces and let's uh, find one of them that I did not install yet so let me just scroll through most of these guy, guys have been installed and there we go so tap on it and simply click install and that's gonna install the watch face on your phone and then using your phone you're gonna customize your watch so as soon as the install is finished I'm gonna show you how to do that so the uh, installation is complete let's go back really quick go back again back to the Android Wear app and there we go scroll all the way to the top and click more next to watch faces and then these are all the skins available that I can use so uh, as soon as I tap any of these guys and if I turn my watch I can also customize it so if you see a settings icon you can customize the watch let's go with the dark theme go back and let me turn on my watch and you will see the exact skin that I just picked and that is the dark theme let's pick another one there we go so as soon as you tap on a skin 
it switches to the brand new skin in real time which is absolutely fantastic you see that let's tap that boom we got the brand new skin okay and the watch out keeps turning off but that's perfectly fine so let's do a couple more again you can go into the settings and you can customize it pick a red bar change the background to white and then simply tap update and that's going to update the the app and there we go so let's uh, do one more just so you guys can see exactly what's going on here so tap that settings icon that is showing on the clock and then from here you can customize it not all watch faces are customizable but this one is so when I click update boom you get the update on the spot so that's how you change the watch faces and then uh, let's go back and see what else we can do here and then in a minute I'm gonna concentrate on the actual watch I just wanna make sure you guys understand exactly what you can do with the Android Wear app and why it's so important so from here you can disconnect you can reconnect you can get some tutorials and then if you get out of here you can go to the settings icon and from here you can make some changes to your phone uh, I'm sorry your watch directly from your phone uh, so that's basically all it is. I mean, it's something to play with. But uh, let's uh, remove the phone from the scene and concentrate on the watch and see everything that you guys can do using the watch itself in full detail. All right, so here's the phone, and let's go into some details here. So let me uh, tell you guys that right now the phone is in the sleep mode, okay? And I can either tap the screen just like that or press the power button to make it turn on. So let's tap that and that's gonna turn on the phone and from here uh, the first thing I want to show you guys is how to go into the settings and tweak different available options so uh, let's turn it on again press that uh, pull this menu down from swipe from top to bottom go to the left 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 and then you got the settings if you tap the settings icon it's gonna take you into the settings and from here you can adjust the brightness you can manage your Bluetooth devices. You can turn the ambient screen on or off. If this is enabled to be off, then when your phone goes into sleep mode, the screen completely turns off, okay? But if you have it turned on, then the screen looks the same as you just saw, the black and white mode. So if I turn this off, press that, the phone is completely turned off, okay? If you don't want that, just go back to the settings and make sure ambient mode is turned on. And that's going to make sure that when your phone goes to sleep, it goes into the black and white mode as you can see right now. So let's turn this on again. Go down here to the settings. Settings. And then the next thing we have is the airplane mode. I'm sure all of you guys know what that is, so it's turned off right now. And you can turn off the phone from here you can restart the watch I keep on the calling the watch the phone so if I keep doing that please uh, ignore that it is a watch and then you can restart the watch from here you can reset the device bring it back to factory default settings from this button you can change the watch faces from here as well so tap that and it's going to take you back to that screen where you can pick different watch faces okay uh, let's uh, stick with the material design and then let's go back into settings if you scroll down and then you have accessibility if you go in here you can invert the colors. so tap that and that inverts the colors on the entire phone I'm just gonna keep this setting normal okay and then go back to go back just swipe to the right okay and then let's go down and from here you can go into about and then this is going to show you which version software you're running so in this case we are running Android Wear 5.0.1 if you scroll all the way down you get to go into the system updates oops not that one system updates and uh, this is how you check to make sure that your software is up to date as you can see in the screen it is in fact up to date so to go back swipe to the right swipe to the right and swipe to the right and that's going to take you to the main screen so that's basically all the settings that you get there are several ways to access settings so the other thing you can do is you can tap the screen settings and simply say settings to Google now
Okay, so when you do tap the screen, Google now comes up. So if, you're, if I'm on the home screen, tap the screen. As you can see, this is Google now. It is going to recognize your voice. Okay, and it's going to even attempt to search what it just heard on Google. So let's tap the screen. So the next thing I want to go over is the notifications. So notifications hide at the bottom. Okay, so let's keep this uh, watch on. And if, you, if I slowly swipe up, it's going to bring up the recent notification. And I can pull this up again. And as you can see, this is a Hangouts message from HSaki, and it says test. So I sent myself a test message just so you guys can see it. And from here, I can swipe to the left and that's going to give me the history conversation history of the conversation I can swipe one more time and I can actually reply right from here oops and I have to speak my response okay and I can go again I can say open hangouts application on the phone okay so go straight back and then if I want to dismiss this notification I swipe to the right there we go okay and then when you do away with that notification the one that's waiting after that pops right up so here's a message from Google if I tap this if I pull it up I can actually read the entire uh, email okay and again if I come down here it's gonna be sitting at the bottom pull it up swipe to the left you can delete the message reply open on phone so you can open the Gmail app on the phone. And then if you come back here, you can swipe to the right to dismiss. And that's the other notification that is waiting for me. Dismiss. Dismiss. Okay. So all these notifications are waiting for me to go through them. And I can interact with them. So let's look at the weather. So I, I have a weather notification which was sent from Google now on my Android phone. If I swipe to the left, it's going to give me a forecast. If I swipe to the left one more time, nothing left there. Okay, so right and right, get rid of that notification. Let's get rid of this guy too. And when you get rid of all the notifications, it simply goes back to your watch face. Okay, so that covered notifications. So basically, swipe up to bring up the notification, uh, swipe to the left to get some details and interact with the notification or swipe right to get rid of it okay so we went over the settings we went over the notifications the next thing I want to talk about is uh, if you tap the screen it brings up Google now okay but you don't have to say anything you can scroll down and there's some other things you can do let me show you tap scroll down okay so from here if you tap play music it's gonna launch your music app on your phone and then you can control the app from your watch. So your watch is going to allow you to have a little remote control, which is going to allow you to pause, play, next track, reduce, or increase the volume. And other things you can do, you can uh, launch the uh, stopwatch. So tap that. Great for a workout, so tap anywhere, and that's going to start the stopwatch. Tap again. It's going to pause it. Press that icon, and it's going to reset it and then swipe to the right to get rid of it okay so there's a lot of other things up there tap screen go down that's the stopwatch play music you can go to the settings you can take a quick note you can uh, remind set a reminder for yourself you can see how many steps you took today you can see your heart rate if this was on my wrist it actually has a sensor on the back of the watch that can read your heart rate and then you can send a text message from here you can email, you can check your agenda for the day, and you can do a lot of other things on here. You can set a timer, so tap that, and you can pick 20 seconds, tap that, and that's your timer right there. So let's go back to that menu, tap, go down, and at the bottom here, you have an option that says start. So let's see what happens. So let's see what happens when we tap that. Again, you had a whole bunch of options. Okay. Play music, the game Tic Tac Toe. So this is an application that I downloaded from the App Store on my Android Wear app on my smartphone. So anytime you download an app from the App Store, it's going to show up right here. And then, of course, I can launch this. 
one player and I can play a quick game okay so that's tic-tac-toe so if you want to download apps and games for your watch go to your Android Wear app on your smartphone and download it through there and it's going to show up right here to cancel I just swiped it to the right so that basically covers everything I want to go over okay so we looked at the menu pull down from the top swipe around go to settings okay and then if you have any notifications just pull them like this we have dismissed all our notifications there's nothing left and then tap here and go down if you have any installed apps you go to start and you can play them right from here it could be games or other apps that are compatible with your smart watch as a final comment I just want to tell you guys that this is definitely a watch that requires you guys to have a smartphone if you don't have a smartphone this watch is basically worthless other than seeing the time you're not gonna be able to do anything so it has to be constantly within the Bluetooth range of your smartphone and has to be constantly connected to your phone to receive notifications from your phone so if you get an email on your phone if you get a text message or if you get any kind of notification it's gonna pop right here and you can interact with that notification using the smartwatch just to make your life easier especially if you're in a place where having cell phones could be a problem like in a classroom or in a work environment beyond that though the watch is quite beautiful it is water resistant okay so it's going to withstand a couple of sprinkles do not dive into water and the glass on the front it is Corning Gorilla Glass 3 so it is pretty scratch resistant the only complaint I'm gonna have about this watch is that the interface is a little laggy and inconsistent at times uh, most of the time